If you create drop-down lists in Excel, sometimes they work fine, like this one opens up and shows us paper, but sometimes in this blank cell, when I go to the list, it opens at the very bottom where there's a blank cell. So we'll see how to fix that problem. This drop-down list was created with data validation. So on the data tab, if I click data validation, I'll see that the source is a list named product. I'll click OK to close that. Our product list is on another worksheet. So someone has set this up. If I select all those cells, I'll see the product name here in the name box. They've left some blanks just in case they want to add other items in the future. And that's what's causing the problem. When the data validation drop down opens, it tries to match. So it matches with the first blank at the bottom. So instead of creating a fixed range here, we can create a dynamic range, which will change size automatically if we add or remove any items. Go to the formulas tab and click name manager. And here's the product. And if I click down in this refers to, it outlines the range that is referred to by this name. We're going to edit that by clicking on product and click edit. So instead of this set range, we're going to make this a formula, which will count the items in the list and use that number of rows in the range. Delete that reference and then start with an equal sign and we'll use the offset function, open bracket, and we're going to pick a starting point and that will be cell B2 and then a comma. And we'll say how many rows down we want to start from that and that would be zero. We want to start right on that cell and then another comma and then how many columns over we want to move and that again would be zero we want to stay in that column another comma next thing we want to do is count the items in column b i'll use the count a function which will count any entries in column B, click on column B to select it and close that bracket. But we want to subtract one for the heading because we don't want to count it. So minus one and a comma. And we want to then say how many columns wide this should be and it will be one column. Close the bracket and click OK. And that takes us back here to the name manager. So here we have our offset formula for the product. And if I click in the reference box now, it shows just the list of items and it it's ignoring the blanks at the end. So that should solve our problem. I'll close this, go back to orders, and now I'm in this blank cell again. Click the drop down, and nothing is selected. There are no blanks for it to match, so it opens just showing the first item in the list, and we can select visible or scroll down to the bottom and select something there. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.